Hey Simmers and Animal Lovers, it's Erin, the Rescue Simmer, and welcome back to the 100 Foster Puppy Challenge, the cutest 100 challenge in all of Sims YouTube. If I do say so myself, it is not quite five in the morning. Everyone insists on being up. We have a potty puddle right about here. I think it is this guy. I can't discipline anybody for going potty inside, so I literally don't know who that is, but we're for sure gonna have to clean that up. Um, we're still sad. Our previous fosters are passing away. Um, but there comes a time in every hundred challenge where that happens. So we're just, we're just gonna stiff up our lip, try to get through it and know that we're doing ultimately a really great thing. So Erin, you, my dear, are going to have to ask all these new pups to go potty. Oh my goodness. While Erin is working, these puppies are being so adorable, just so playful. We actually got these guys in last episode. We have 41 of our 100 puppies. I am so excited, you guys. I've made a commitment or a goal to try my best to get to puppy 50 before the season ends. That's going to be quite a feat because I was looking at it. Erin should become an elder. Emma should become a young adult. And guys, we have one sim week to get this done. One sim week to go and adopt in nine more puppies. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it, but I am absolutely gonna try my best. Aaron is giving a comforting hug to Chewy. I love Chewy so much. He is such a little love bug. He's a big hairy beast, but honestly, look at, oh, oh, oh. Chewy, be nice to Panda. Panda is our little love bug. Oh, he is, he like neutralized it. I don't know who was having an aggressive thought, but Chewy is like amazing. I love Chewy so much. So I think goals for this episode is that these little, little puppy butts have to age up. We also need to get Chewy and Indoor trained. I don't think Chewy knows like literally any, oh, poor Bubby. I don't think Chewy knows any tricks. Oh, it looks like Padme is also, she's jumpy. So she's also afraid of this, I was gonna say music maker, <laughs> of this radio. <laughs> Emma looks like she's pretty much ready. She has school in an hour. Um, I think I'm gonna have her kind of brush, take care of the dogs. It'll just be Erin today. And we're gonna have her train her tush off. Cause like I said, we do not have time to sit on our laurels. <laughs> we have nine more puppies to get in this place. Okay, so Chewy does have two tricks trained already. I think he only needs two more. And I actually want Emma to continue Panda's training. I don't remember how many she knows. It's not a ton of them though. So she does know the basic three, but I wanna give her more because she is our wonderful dog and we love her so, so much. We're so thrilled that she is here. She's a great foster sister to all of these puppies. Having a dog that you trust when you're trying to raise puppies is so nice because they will naturally look to the older dogs for how to act. So having a dog that is great at socializing, oh, we're gonna send her alone, is such a great useful tool. It's not a requirement, but if you have it, it's so nice. Bye, Emma. Have a good day at school. She is off to school. Oh no, look at this pup. What a messy little puppy. Okay, so we're gonna stop with the rolling in things. Oh my goodness, Hades. Hades is our 41st puppy. Let's lecture him one more time. Let's see if we can get away with that. And let's pet him because he does look like he took the lesson. That's awesome. You know what? <laughs> Hades just learned not to play in puddles. Erin, can you please take care of Padme who <laughs> still has has to learn apparently. So he's still, he's not playing in puddles anymore, but he's going to be drinking from them. So we still have a big eye to keep out on them. Look at this little yapper. She has so much to say. She is feisty, I will tell you that. Asaka is a very feisty little pup. Yes, Chewy learned to lie down, good boy. Oh my gosh, look at that dog. So he has two learned tricks now. So he knows sit, he knows down. Let's teach him to shake. I foresee Chewy in a house with kids. It says that he's an independent dog, but he really does seek out affection and attention. Like he doesn't wanna be left out in anything. And he seems like such a sensitive dog. Aaron and Emma have felt crummy these last few days and he's been like right there. I want all of our pups to go to great homes and great fits for them, but I think I'm gonna spend special attention on Chewy. He's just such a love. Oh my goodness, speaking of loves, look at our good little panda teaching that Asaka 
how to be nice, how to be kind, how to trust other dogs. Yes, Chewy learned how to shake. That is amazing. Good boy, Chewy. Okay, so Chewy is ready to go. Indoor is sleeping. Oh, what? I think Indoor is a lazy pup. Yes, Indoor is a couch potato. She's a hunter and she's hairy. And then we have Chewy, who's independent, hairy, and a hunter. Okay, and as we do in the Hunter Puppy House, we ask again, another round of asking to go potty. We are trying to get them going potty outside more than they happen to potty inside so that by the time they can control it, it's just a habit. Oh, no food aggression, sir. Ooh, today's mail's been delivered. We can handle those bills. Those bills are fine. Speaking of bills, we have our lovely garden today and I'm excited because we have flowers. Crocus flowers and, oh, what is this? The snowdrop flower, those are really great money makers. Look at how cute Endor is. She's a, oh man, okay, here's another. We don't drink from puddles, no thanks. Sorry, Endor. <laughs> Isn't she adorable? Oh my gosh, how cute is she? And back to training. <laughs> I don't think we'll get all three of Endor's tricks trained yet before Emma comes home, but I think it should be pretty quickly after she is, uh, after she makes it home, after she lands, that we should get the third one done. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. <laughs> yes, Endor learned how to sit. Good job, Endor. Let's do lie down again. Ooh, it is our friend, Darren. So, I didn't really see any takers for whether Darren should be a little more than friends with Aaron. So for right now, I think I'll just let things develop normally. Like if they end up naturally having a romance bar or anything like that, or if she rolls and he wants to do anything specifically romantic with him, then sure, why not? What are you? You're an adult. Okay, so he's another adult too. They're not too far off on age. Yes, Indoor learned to lie down. It is almost three o'clock. She still has another trick to learn. I might give Emma Indoor when she comes home, depending on how her mood is. Oh, her mood is terrible. Never mind. We shall not do any of that. Oh my gosh, Darren. Hi, do you like Hades? I will keep that in mind, sir. I will absolutely keep that in mind. Emma looks like she's having an absolutely miserable time. So I'm gonna have her go ahead and rough house with Panda. What better way to get over a bad mood than to spend some time with your furry companion? I'm gonna send Emma out to go get our money because we just had to pay quite a bit in bills <laughs> and, uh, and we have some harvesting to do. I'm super happy with everything that's blooming. We have lemon trees. We have, what is this? We have spinach plants. I think we even, yeah, we have some chocolate berries. So this should be a nice haul. Look at this man just coming over, eating our stuff like he lives here. Oh, yay! Hi, Mayra, how are you? Oh man, everybody is dropping puddles from it being so rainy outside. <laughs> Look at this dog. You know what, honestly, Darren seems to really like our dogs. <laughs> That's great. We can definitely give him one of our pups when they are good and ready to go. Yeah, Emma can like pop music. Yes, Indoor learned how to shake. It is 7.30 at night. So I'm gonna let Erin give her her treat. She is looking a little bit sad, but no worries. We're about to give her her forever home. I'm so excited. Nice, and with that, let's pause it here and let's find Chewy and Endor a home. And let's visit the Zhang household. <laughs> I think that Chewy would be great for this family because they have a daughter who loves everybody, honestly. I think Chewy would be very patient with her and they've also got two babies, it looks like. So let's move Chewy on over. I'd like to pop into the Kananahui household and pop indoor over. They are, and I think they're both adults, but they're married, they don't have any children. I think it'd be a nice quiet house for indoor. She is a couch potato dog after all, but there's lots of places for her to go and explore. And they have all day to brush her. So congratulations indoor and Chewy on finding your forever homes. 
It is a much emptier house without them here. And Erin is exhausted. She's also really got a pee, so I'm gonna send her to do that. But Emma can call the agency, even though she's very, very tired, and tell them that they are ready for more dogs. Alrighty, guys, so I asked you what kind of breeds we should be looking for, what kind of breeds are special to you. And a couple of you did answer. We had a comment that Basenjis were super cute. Um, and that some poodle mixes. So I'm gonna be taking a look out. So we have, oh, dog, the standard schnauzer. We have pickles, a balker. I don't know what breed mix that is or what designer dog that is. I think that should be a small dog. We have car the pug. We have Burger the Maltese. We have Cosmo the Schnauzer. What interesting coloring Cosmo has. We have Teo the Bloodhound. Kudos the Pointer. And Charlie the Old English Sheepdog. So we are gonna have two puppies in. As interesting as Cosmo looks, I believe we've already had a larger Schnauzer. Now, I don't think that we've had the smaller Schnauzer, the standard, so this would be like a mid-sized dog, but unfortunately, The Sims 4 does not have three sizes for dogs, it only has two. We've never had a Bocker, so I would like to pick that dog. We have had a Pug, our lovely Panda is a Pug. We have had an Old English Sheepdog, but I don't remember us having a Bloodhound, so I'm gonna pick Teo. Oh my gosh, they're here, they're here, they're here. Okay, so here is Pickles, and there should be a second puppy. Mm, I don't know where Teo is, but let's go ahead and introduce ourselves to Pickles. So it looks like that went pretty well. Let me go ahead and adopt. Oh, there's Teo. It took him a little while to come out. <laughs> yes, we want to adopt this pet. So Pickles, I believe was a female. And our name category is gods and goddesses. So I was looking and she seems like a very light puppy, like maybe a blonde, um, or she may even be white or just, just very off white. So I was looking for goddesses or like a goddess of light and it looks like Thea or Thea came up. She is the goddess um, of light. She's a daughter of Uranus and, oh, and like the, the goddess of the earth. Hi, Thea. How cute. Who are you, Teo? I think Teo is a male, but we'll see. It is so messy in here, you guys. <laughs> Look at all the puddles. It looks like it was wrong. Teo is another female, so we are like super female up in here. <laughs> yes, we wanna adopt this puppy. So since Teo is a female and a bloodhound, I wanted to name her after the goddess of the hunt. So that can either be Artemis or Diana. I like the name Artemis for her. So welcome Artemis. We have two more puppies in. I'm so excited guys. We are at puppy 43. So let's end our adoption evaluation. We're gonna clean this place up, oh my gosh. And oh, look at them. I love puppies, they're so cute. So much work, but so cute. We are gonna have to fill probably all the pet bowls because we want everybody to have enough to eat while they're sleeping. Oh, our friend has to go. Yes, absolutely. We are gonna ask everybody to use the bathroom. Let's not bark if you were barking. When. Emma takes the baton. I'm thinking we're gonna set her up in her own lot. I think we'll leave Erin kind of to live her life in peace. Oh my goodness. Panda just woke Erin up. She must know she's not feeling very good. Like she's just not willing to let her rest. So we're just gonna correct Panda. And then we're gonna give her some loves and hugs and go to bed. Erin, you... Okay, so she's sad about not making anything. We really do need to give her time to like invest in her interests. Poor lady. Emma is almost literally about to drop, so let's send her to bed. It is 10.30. No, she did not do her homework. <laughs> and we will we'll send everybody to bed and I will see you guys in the morning if nobody ages up. And that's a big if, because I think we might have some overnight age ups, but we'll see. Sometimes it surprises me and that doesn't happen. Let's move the poop, huh? Yeah. All right, guys, I will see you in the morning. All right, everybody, it is Tuesday morning. We are getting up. 
Oh, by the way, everybody, it snowed, so we have quite the nice little dusting all over. I think it's kind of cheerful, you know? Like, like, look at that. What a picturesque little scene, just snowing on this little mountaintop. Oh, so idyllic. Absolutely none of these adorable pups aged up last night. It should be sometime this morning in as long as they don't age up like right away erin should have some time to herself because there isn't a whole lot that she can do with puppies other than like ask them to use the bathroom and then like of course get after them when they roll in it for the first time in a while erin is fully rested and in a great mood i am so thrilled for her the pups are starting to wake up so i'm queuing for her to ask them to use the bathroom as soon as they're up that should be very first thing we all go potty yes hades learned to pee outside that is amazing padme learned to pee outside nice absolutely great yeah let's send emma alone and panda was asking to go for a walk so we'll try it just while aaron is waiting for pups to age up anyway um, I don't think that that would be a terrible thing. All right, I am keeping an eye on our litter of three because I don't want anybody aging up without me. <laughs> After Erin gets back from her run, I will check in with you guys as long as nobody ages up. Just kidding, Erin did not get to go on her run because look at all this mess. Look at what these puppies are doing. <laughs> Oh, they're disgusting. Oh, gross. No, we don't drink things. No, no. Well, Panda, we love you. I swear we love you. It's just puppies are a lot of work. <laughs> oh, look at this dog. Look at this dog. No playing in puddles. Thanks. Oh, someone's calling. Winner, winner. Emma has won a school prize. Yes. What should, uh, should we give it to her in front of the class or quietly and privately? Um, I think that she would like it in front of everybody. Yes, Padme has learned not to play in puddles. Thank goodness. <gasps> Tomorrow's Winterfest. I'm so excited. And look at you guys. You, on top of just being gross, you're gonna catch your death. Oh my goodness. Oh, again, even more. Oh, you guys help send help. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. I need to give this puppy a bath. This puppy is nasty gross. And here I thought she would have some time to herself. <laughs> what was I thinking? Have I not been doing this for 43 puppies? Oh, look at these guys. They're sharing their food. Absolutely nobody is to age up without me. Is that understood? So while we have Thea spinning here, I actually looked it up and it looks like a Bocker is a designer dog breed. Um, it is a cross between a Beagle and a Spaniel of some kind. So that would be a Bocker. Some of them are bigger, some of them are smaller, uh, but that's Darren. Hi, Darren. I have a crush on El Faba. What do you think it's worth a try? Sure, go for it. Apparently we are not meant to be, so you have fun. Okay, so now that there's no more mess for anyone to roll in, I'm going to have Erin <laughs> just make some things. She misses crafting. She was feeling sad about not having made anything. So we're gonna do absolutely everything we can. I'm sorry guys, I am not focused on her. I am trying to uh, keep an eye on pups. Oh, I'm so sorry, Panda. Can you talk to Panda while you do it? Like, you know, give her some loving attention. Oh my gosh, look at Panda out in the snow. <laughs> She's like, I'll just lay here, it's fine. Yes, Erin just made something of excellent quality. She wants to become focused and she wants to listen to pop music. But that's in, that tends to scare the other dogs. So uh, we'll do that kind of sparingly. All right, just, just harvesting and waiting, you guys. This is like... I'm not used to having this much downtime <laughs> in the 100 Puppy Challenge. Usually somebody needs to get fixed or somebody needs to be trained or, you know, just anything. We're just sort of living life. You know what? While we wait, I'm curious about our new puppy's traits. I never did look at that. So Artemis is a hunter who is a sleuth and a troublemaker. That makes a lot of sense for her breed. And Thea is an active vocal smart dog. Oh, so she's gonna learn her tricks really quickly. Oh, I'm so grateful for that. Emma is home. Wonderful, still in a student as we all knew she would be. 
I'm gonna have her just say hi to the pups. It's so funny, like they all just sort of hang out here. They're just playing in the snow. They've had a really cute day out, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> oh, she is not having any fun. I can't wait till she does not have to go to school anymore. Like she's just not about it, you guys. I think Erin's just gonna make some more wood crafting. I think there's nothing wrong with making more simoleons. Why don't we have Emma fill all the pet bowls once she's done playing with Panda. Yes, Asaka learned to pee outside. We're just asking all of our pups to use the bathroom again. So guys, nobody seems to be aging up, but I think what Erin definitely could do is train her pup. Certainly not a bad thing to have a really well disciplined pup who knows tons of tricks and has no problem following direction. Yes, somebody is aging up. Oh my gosh, watch, watched pots never boil. As soon as we broke focus, here comes Asaka. <laughs> nice. Oh, hi Asaka. Oh, that's so cute. And Panda learned to shake. Nice job. Ooh, it looks like Padme is next. I'm so excited for this little otter hound girl. And she aged up. Oh, you know what? We don't like our napping inspector anyway. Look at Padme, so fluffy. And here we go, Hades, our very first gods and goddess puppy. Oh, how adorable. So we have two fully grown girls and two fully grown boys. So you guys know what that means. We are gonna be getting them spayed and neutered. Asaka, my dear, since you aged up first, we're gonna have you go on in. Here she goes doing what we know to do, making sure that our pets are ready to just be pets. They do not have to worry about being parents. You guys, while I am getting everybody spayed and neutered, getting them one step closer to their forever homes. I just want to take a minute to say thank you for watching, for commenting, for all the subscriptions. You guys, we are growing. I'm so excited and so humbled. This challenge is a blast to play with you. I love streaming with you guys on Saturday mornings. That's at 10 a.m. Central Time. If you guys ever want to, you can pop by. It tends to be a a uh, little bit of a different kind of uh, stream. It's not necessarily pet centered. So if you guys are looking for even more content for challenges, pop by there. I love saying hi to you. And you guys, as always, if you enjoy this series, this video, then I have a couple and YouTube has a couple that are recommending for you right now that you may enjoy also. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week and as always, happy simming.